If you need to host a static website, there's a ton of great options available for you, ranging from Netlify, to GitHub Pages, to even just putting the website into an Amazon S3 bucket. But what if that site has private information that you need to control access to? For example, maybe an internal corporate website or documentation for a private SDK. Adding an authentication layer makes the task of setting this up considerably more difficult. But by taking advantage of a few Google Cloud features, I was able to put together a solution that satisfies this use case perfectly. In this video, I'm gonna build a sample documentation website using Google's App Engine for hosting and Google's Identity Aware Proxy for the authentication layer. Hey, what's up folks? Sid here with DevOps Directive, bringing you the information you need to level up your DevOps and cloud infrastructure skill set and stay on top of this ever-changing industry. On this channel, I create a lot of informational videos as well as tutorials like this one, so if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'll also be releasing a follow-up to this video in which I use CircleCI to build a CI CD pipeline to automatically build and deploy this site to App Engine. If that sounds interesting to you, hit the notification bell so you can be sure not to miss it. I'm also trying a bit of a new format with this video where I turned the camera on throughout the whole implementation process, but then I edited it down such that any portion that was not critical to the understanding of the viewer would be time-lapsed and, and accelerated quite a bit. If it's too fast or too slow, feel free to let me know in the comments and I can adjust accordingly. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is create sort of an outline for the different steps that we're going to need to perform in order to get this site up and running. So these are the 10 rough steps that I think I'll need to follow. Uh, as I go, I'll sort of add more detail to these and go back and check them off uh, as we make progress. Cool. So I'm just going to start by going to GitHub and creating a repo. With the repo created, I'll now clone it. Very important to get the proper emoji. Okay, so within this uh, directory, I'm gonna use env to create a virtual environment. So I use the pip env shell command, which both initializes the virtual environment and creates that pip file. I then insta installed Sphinx, which is a uh, documentation generation engine. Uh, so let's find the quick start for Sphinx. So I just run Sphinx quick start and it takes me through a, a dialogue uh, with a series of questions. Yes, uh, IAP walkthrough. That created a build directory and a source directory and this make file. I think I can just run make HTML. And so now within this build directory, we have the website files. Uh, so we have our website here with the documentation, but the formatting is not great. Um, so I think Sphinx has some ability to allow you to specify a theme, which will make them look much nicer. Uh, so let me see if I can get that working. So that is much better. Uh, what I had to do was I installed the theme using pip. So that was this pip install sphinx rtd theme command. Uh, and then within the conf.py file uh, for the 
uh, Sphinx configuration. I changed the HTML theme to the Sphinx RTD theme. Uh, and now we have our theme, which matches that of this uh, read the doc site, which I quite like. We've done four and now five. Uh, I'm gonna create a brand new GCP project uh, just so that we can figure out uh, which settings need to be tweaked or, or updated from the base, the base ones. So I'm gonna do that now. provides this walkthrough for how to host a static website using App Engine. Uh, essentially, now that we have our files already, we just have to define this uh, app.yaml file like this that will be located in the root directory of the project. Uh, so we will create a new file, app.yaml, paste that in. And then we need to point it to the proper location uh, where the website files will actually live. And this is just telling App Engine where the website lives within the directory. Uh, because I have other Google projects configured on my system right now, I'm going to have to figure out how to point uh, my G Cloud command line install to this new project. So I used the gcloud init command and passed it the project flag to point it to this specific project. And then I used uh, the correct Gmail account, which is associated with this project, to authenticate. Um, we created the app.yaml. I'm not sure that it's correct, so I'm not going to put a check mark there until we've tested it. Uh, but let's go here to app engine. <laughs> Just try running this. I'm in the need to be in the root directory where the app.yaml lives. Uh, now I need to pick where it's going to deploy to. Uh, I'm on the west coast, so let's go with 16. It's just giving me some information. Now I choose. Whether it is correct, looks fine. My upload speeds at home are not very fast. So it's trying, but it's struggling. Normally deploys don't take this long. I think just the first deploy it has to configure some additional things. Oh, uh, I just visited the URL that it provided me and it looks like it's already live. Uh, so that is awesome. And the command here in the left-hand window just finished up. So it looks like we successfully uh, created the app engine app and deployed to it and our app.yaml was correct. Uh, we chose the correct paths to point it to. Okay, uh, so now we just need to, this site is, is publicly available on the internet. We wanted to password protect our site, so we're going to use Google's app uh, identity aware proxy for that. So we'll search for IAP, go here. Uh, we have to enable that API. Before you can actually use the IAP, we have to configure a consent screen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It looks like I should add that here. Uh, we're going to make it external. Uh, you could add your own custom logo, 
which would show up on the consent page. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Uh, okay, let's go back to that IAP page and see if it'll let us do it now. Uh, we've got our App Engine app. We've got a error, but it looks like it's not enabled. So I'm going to just turn on this. And then if we click here, it'll show us the people who have access um, to the site. And we want to add a member. And I'm actually going to do all authenticated users. Uh, if you wanted to have individuals, you could, you could put uh, the individual accounts here. It could be uh, Mike dot Smith at Gmail, uh, but I'm just going to do all authenticated users. You also can use Google Groups and then manage access that way. And I'm going to grant them this Cloud IAP Secured Web App User Role. Uh, okay. And essentially, all authenticated users means you have to have you have to log in with your account uh, to get access. But anyone who logs in will then be granted access. Uh, and so. I believe that we have accomplished these two. And now I'm just gonna test it out. I'm gonna go into an incognito browser and it should prompt me. So we got it uh, set up and we were able to use all authenticated users. We were able to use my personal account. So there we have it, a simple solution for hosting a static website with password protection by using Google's App Engine and Identity Aware Proxy for the authentication layer. If you're following along for a site of your own, comment below with what your use case is. I'd love to hear how other people are using an architecture like this within their sites. Thanks for checking out this video and hit the like button if you found it valuable. As I mentioned in the introduction, I'll be releasing a follow-up to this video building out a CI CD pipeline with CircleCI, and I hope to release that video next week. Hopefully I'll see you then.